the government made the decision to dismiss the standard fuel tax and propose to build oil factory. In result of the tax reduction, they are expecting that the fuel price will not rise. The oil factory will be built in Altenshiresums, 150 hectares of area, and will be marked as government special needs property. Construction work is expected to start in the second quarter of this year. The annual Ulaanbaatar Winter, Winter Festival will be held between February 2nd to 3rd at the National Park. The festival is significant to promote Mongolian customs, traditional games and culture to foreign and domestic tourists. Archery and knucklebone shooting competitions will be held during the festival, and archers from neighboring countries, Russia and China, are expected to take part. Other attractive events, including amateur ski competition and performance of skaters, will be organized. Most competitions of the festival are open to tourists to participate. In connection with the 55 years anniversary of diplomatic relations with Great Britain, Mongolian ice sculpture artist Patmuch led the team and built an ice monuments of world-renowned band Beatles and Palace of Westminster at the Central Square. The ice sculpture building is included in the framework of 55 years of anniversary with Great Britain. Artist Patmuch and his team have experience in participating in international ice sculpture competitions. Research Laser Laboratory opens in National University of Mongolia this week. The laboratory has been built with the support from the Ministry of Education, Culture Science and Sports and the funding from Asian Development Bank. The research laboratory is to extract short impulse laser system with high level research as well as to create new knowledge and wide usage in photonic material studies, biology, renewable energy and medical science. The equipment enables researchers to conduct high level research in Mongolia. The Mongolian government has accepted Vietnam's proposal to cooperate in oil sector. The issue was discussed during a meeting between Mr. Ratnasurung, deputy of the Mineral Resource Authority of Mongolia, and the executives from the Petro Vietnam Company in Hanoi. Last year, Vietnam expressed the interest on in importing deep frozen meats from Mongolia in return for export fish and fruits. The trade volume between Mongolia and Vietnam reached $67.7 million in 2017, which was an increase on the previous year.